Skywatch Media News for November the 27th, 2020. Astronomers and skywatchers are on the verge of witnessing one of the greatest and rarest events as the planets Jupiter and Saturn appear to collide in the evening sky, resembling that of a double planet in a spectacle last seen during the Middle Ages. The great event will take place on December the 21st, when the gas giant Jupiter and the ring planet Saturn will become as one. The planetary pair will appear to be incredibly close to one another for the first time in centuries, and it will become a momentous time for photographers to ring in the winter solstice. Although a rendezvous between these two planets occurs once every 20 years or so, this particular conjunction is extraordinarily rare because of their extremely close proximity to one another in late December. This event is so rare that you would have to go back in time to the dawn of March the 5th in the year 1226 to have witnessed an alignment of these two planets that was as close or as visible in the night sky. The last great conjunction occurred in the year 1623. Jupiter and Saturn have actually been approaching one another since last summer, with Saturn and Jupiter appearing above the southwestern horizon, Saturn being on the left and Jupiter on the right. During the week before Christmas, the duo will be separated by less than the angular diameter of the full moon. On the evening of December the 21st, they will resemble a double planet. They will appear united, separated by only a fifth of the angular diameter of the full moon. For viewers who have access to a telescope, each planet, as well as several of their largest moons, will be visible within the same field of view. Skywatchers residing near the equator will have the best view of the double planet phenomenon. However, weather permitting, the event will be observable from across the entire globe. The planetary duo will loom low in the southwestern sky for about an hour after sunset each evening, appearing as one great star. But sky watchers living in the northern latitudes will have less time to catch a glimpse of the event before it disappears below the horizon. The two planets will also be bright enough to where they can be viewed during the twilight hours. For many of us, it will be our only opportunity to witness this great event. The cosmic conjunction of these two planets will not occur again until March the 15th of the year 2080, followed by a similar conjunction after the year 2400. There is a reason why the conjunction of these two great planets is so rare, and it has much to do with their distance from the Sun. Because of their distance, their orbital movement becomes much slower since speed decreases with distance. Whereas the Earth takes one year to complete an orbit of the Sun, it takes 12 years for Jupiter and 30 years for Saturn. As a result of their long orbits, Jupiter and Saturn meet in the sky only once every 20 years in this period of time. At the time of their conjunction, Saturn will have completed two-thirds of its 30-year orbit while at the same time Jupiter will have completed one 12-year orbit as well as two-thirds of another orbit. Therefore, 20 years is the amount of time that it would take Jupiter to catch up and pass Saturn once again as they circle the Sun. And so we now look forward to a very rare meeting of two large planets known as the Great Conjunction that is slated for December of 2020. Residents of southern South America will witness a dramatic total eclipse which will plunge the sun into darkness for 2 minutes and 10 seconds on Monday, December the 14th. 
The event will create an amazing spectacle for observers in a path up to 90 kilometers wide or 56 miles. It will be visible from the Pacific to the Atlantic via Argentina and Chile. The solar phenomenon will be the one and only total eclipse of the Sun in the year 2020, and it will be the final eclipse of this decade. Here is how the Moon's dark shadow will sweep across the Earth's surface on December the 14th. On a global scale, the narrow path of the total eclipse starts at sunrise over the Pacific and ends at sunset over the Atlantic near the African coast, some three and a half hours later. To the north and to the south, outside of the path of totality, a partial eclipse will be seen. Here is how it will look in real time. From anywhere in South America where the eclipse is visible, the entire eclipse from start to finish is about three hours duration. The next total eclipse of the sun will take place on December the 4th, 2021. The brightness and the intensity of seasonal fireball and bolid events is becoming quite phenomenal. Another immense fireball boomed over the southern United States and northern Mexico on November the 19th, leaving onlookers stunned. Night turned today when a huge object lit up the sky over Texas, which was also visible in northern Mexico. A video capture of the phenomenon shows a huge burst of light appearing out of nowhere as the meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere. According to the University of Southern Queensland, located in Australia, many of the meteor explosions that are happening recently are originating from the asteroid belt, also from the Edgeward Kuiper belt, and from the Oort cloud, which is far from Earth. Three fireballs exploded over the Brazilian sky during a recent three-day span. On November 20th, two fireballs were captured on camera over northeast Brazil. On November 23rd, a bright space rock entered the atmosphere at an altitude of 64 miles at 2.30 a.m. local time. Its disintegration was captured by the camera of the Heller and Young Space Observatory, located in Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul. You may have been wondering what that bright star is that is appearing near the moon. It may look deceptive, but that bright light seen here in the backdrop of the New York skyline is not a star, it is the red planet Mars. The moon and Mars are in conjunction, and the planet is now appearing just five degrees from the moon. It is a grand sight to behold, but the pairing of Mars and the moon is just a warm-up to the spectacular conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn at year's end. As you look towards the heavens, you will come to the realization 
that there is no sight more provocative of awe than is the night sky. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.